Yo, what up everyone, it's Tyranitar2, welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield update, it is October 9th, and we got some stuff to talk about, so, if you guys knew, there was that 24 hour Pokemon live stream, it was like a live stakeout, we're supposed to be in the nature spot, 24 hours, we're stuck in one perspective, someone dropped a camera there, and we have to watch for 24 hour hours what happens in this Galarian forest, we saw more lol, people actually watched it for 24 hours, the whole thing with it is not meant for you to watch it for 24 hours, it was meant for the press to cover it, and for you to just pop in every now and then. That was the point. It was for a 24 hour period where you're getting slow, slow updates towards something they were teasing during that live stream. And it started off with there being more lulls and phantoms roaming around, and then you'd get little snippets of a Pokemon in the, in the bushes. And then there's that one point where the Pokemon was coming out, like 12 hours into the stream, and an Impidim starts marching out, and he like fogs up the camera and walks away, and the Pokemon gets cut off by Impidimp. And they were teasing this Pokemon that was running around the forest, and eventually, you hear a galloping sound, like 16 hours into the live stream, as the Pokemon runs up to the camera, but you can't see it. And then at the end of the live stream, it's revealed, just out in the open, a little freaking horse running around. It looks exactly like Ponyta, except it's a unicorn and it's got all this, this purple coloring to it. And then they show that it lights up, like it glows up. And then by the time the stream is done near the 24 hour mark, you see two little Ponytas playing with each other, uh, spinning in circles. It looked like they might've been running away from something, but it's very obvious it was Ponyta and you could hear the Ponyta cry. And then when it cut off camera, you could hear a Rapidash cry. Long story short, that's a Galarian Ponyta. Ponyta is the next Pokemon that's getting a Galarian form. And I just want to say I'm so proud of Game Freak for doing this, for teasing it. This is something I said when I was talking about the problem with Sun and Moon. And I felt like if my point wasn't understood, probably that it would look like I was just hating on the series. And they did exactly what I mentioned in that video. How instead of just revealing five Alolan forms in the trailer that you even introduce it and then drop in everything Star Revolution, Soglu, Lunala typing in the first trailer that you at least tease it so people have a build up inside themselves to want to know in the first place and they did exactly that in this 24 hour live stream it was meant to just reveal that one Pokemon but tease throughout and because of the way that Galarian Ponyta was revealed I really want to get it. I really feel like it would be special if I got it on my team when I play Sword and Shield versus the Vulpix and Ninetales they showed where it was like everyone would have it on their team. I'm showing stuff on screen right now probably. The Pokemon was Galarian Ponyta. Now I'm talking about it because there has been an update finally for this Galarian Ponyta. We're going to talk about the typings, what its ability could be, what the Rapidash could be, but just know that that is Galarian Ponyta. This is the first time it was teased. You saw something rustling in the grass and it had this this glowiness to it. Now that you know it's a ponytail, it looks very obvious, but we didn't know. There's also this where something was glowing and clearly shown as a horse. It would have been such a troll. It was very fun following this for 24 hours, all the updates and looking at the stream. I was sort of watching the stream, but... <laughs> So this is the tease where something is walking in the background and Impidim gonna cover the camera. It's back here. Look, look, see, it, it, it went now. It's walking its way over here. And then Impidim just gonna, just gonna cover it up. This is the first, Impidim's never even been officially revealed. They're just freaking messing with this. That's not the first time. Impidim strikes back again. Look at him running up to the camera. I did something good. This is the second one. Impidim gonna come up here. Oh, look, a camera. Let me fog it all up. Then he runs away. And you get to see it galloping in the background. So as the stream was progressing, we got closer and closer to what it looks like. And it was so, it gave you such a cool feeling in your heart when people captured stills of it running around. And you had to let it sink in yourself with no official reveal. It's like discovering the Pokemon for yourself. This is why you would form such a cool love for it. Unlike when they just drop you all these Alolan forms. It's like we discovered this ourselves. It gave you such a cool feeling to see this. It's clearly Galarian Ponyta. And then eventually, we got it. We got it just like a nature spot would. We finally got to see it come out. And there it is, a freaking beautiful Galarian Ponyta has the horn. And it, it's, it's, it doesn't even look like a fire type. It's just all, it's My Little Pony. Yeah, shout out to Pokexperto for doing such a good job covering it. They were the main ones that were helping me see everything. Oh, you gotta see this. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> Hold on. That is so adorable. Okay. And so they're not running away from something. They're just playing. So that is Galarian Ponyta. What do you think Galarian Ponyta's typing is? 
it, you, there's two things. Essentially, this thing showed up. It's a Famitsu scan where it taught. Look, you could see Galarian Ponyta's official art and it in battle. We've never seen this before. All we saw was this live stream with the 3D models. But we'll get to this in a second because this might reveal its actual typing, but the text is too small to read. This is Galarian Ponyta. What would you think its typing is? There's two options for this. It can either be a partial Galarian form, which isn't an official term. It's just what I call like the Weezings and the Mucks, where they just gain a secondary typing. It's almost like closer to the original species. So it could be a partial one in the sense that it's fire, fairy or something. It really looks like a fairy type. This is exactly what fairy types are. That m magical, mystical typing that like, that is so pure. That's the whole point of it being weak to poison. It's like, it's so pure. It's like killing fairies with poison. Wow, I didn't show you it lighting up. This is how it looks like when it's lighting up. So they run around. Look at that, it's glowing. That's freaking crazy. That's such a good design. For real, that's such a good design. But like, if they just revealed this normally, there would be no specialty, no value to it at all. And I'm so proud of Game Freak for doing this. They've not revealed anything. They've only revealed Obstacle and Weezing and Ponyton Surfetch. That's it. We're a month, we're like 30, like five days away from the release. They revealed absolutely everything in Sun and Moon. They revealed nothing. This is the right way to do it. This is what I was, what I was explaining in that Sun and Moon video where I broke down the entire Sun and Moon thing in like 50 minutes. It was a long video, but it, I was talking about all the problems they did with Sun and Moon's hype season. This is the right way to, to hype up a game. You added so much value in this little reveal. The amount of value they got from Sun and Moon revealing 20 things. All the topos, all the evolutions, all these Pokemon never equaled just this one little thing here because they, they made you want to know here. They made you involved here. They made it fun for you. So anyhow, it can be a Fire Fairy type or it could be its own Galarian form like Ninetales was. And obviously the best idea is that it could be a pure Fairy type Ponyta, which would be so cool. It, it fits it perfectly. This looks like a pure Fairy type. But then we can get a little messy and just mess around with other ideas. It could be... Some people really think it could still be a Fire type. I don't think it's Fire. I don't, I don't see anything here that's Fire. It no longer has fire, but there's four big typings that you can mess around and play with this. So the first one, of course, is fairy. The second one is normal. This could be a, a, a fairy normal type. Yeah, kind of weird, but it helps to have normal as a stab. But normal hasn't been what it was before. Normal used to be, normal used to be able to represent Pokemon like Clefable. Now it doesn't. Now normal literally just means basic. That's why Pokemon like Dramp Up get the normal type. This looks fairy. The third thing it could be is a psychic type, but I suppose you could see this thing as a psychic type. But the fourth typing that could be really funny is, I saw this meme where they, they pull up a, a Mega Altaria and Mega Ampharos and they're like, is this a, is this a dragon type? <laughs> it could be a dragon, who knows what Game Freak does nowadays. My favorite idea is this being a fairy type and when it evolves into Rapidash, I don't know if a unicorn can grow wings but if we can get the pegasus and rapidash is a pegasus with wings and it's a fairy flying type you ponder in your head what you think because we might get the answer right now and we get to this scan now okay so my my face just to move my face out of the way it's from famitsu it's revealing sir fetched and ponyta which we got in like the last few weeks this is the best quality scan that exists out there and it's too blurry to read stuff there's no information for Surfetch, so I'll just cover it up. But the big information here is for Galarian Ponyta. This is the first official acknowledgement that this is Galarian Ponyta. And here it is, uh, comparing it to Ponyta. I love how when they make a, a original variant that they mock its original artwork. The exact angle it's drawn from, the exact pose. They do it with Marowak, Golem, Ninetales. Everything mocks its original way. Right here, it shows its typing. Now... It's not a normal type, it's not a dragon type, but the two typings that could fall under is either a fairy type or a psychic type, and that's why I mentioned it earlier. It, it can't be a psychic type. I, there's, when you see this, do you feel like using crunch and it being super effective, or do you feel like it's going to kill your mighty Anna with the fairy move? I see it as a fairy type, but I guess it does confirm that it's not a normal type. So it's literally probably pure fairy, and Rapidash might be the one to get a secondary typing. I know you see this down here, as well as this. Look at this, dude. I really want a Ponyta on my team now. They've had such quality reveals. I was gonna call it my favorite, but Obstagoon is pretty good. Weezing is pretty good, and Surfetch is pretty good as well. Look, they also talk about how they tease Surfetch here, you craps. 
they really flipped it. Anyhow, I know you see this here, and you're like, is that Rapidash? That's not Rapidash. Look how tiny it is. It's Ponyta in its glowing form. And guess what it reveals? Its ability. It says that its new ability is called Pasture Veil. So it's a brand new ability in Gen 8. And what it seems to do is it prevents Ponyta from being poisoned. And when its allies switch in, it, they lose their poison. Apparently what we saw in the forest was Galarian Ponyta absorbing life energy from the forest. And that's how its, its mane and all the fluff grows. But with this ability, it, it really looks like a fairy type. Of course, you could use it with a psychic type, sure. In competitive, you could predict the opponent using like toxic and switch into your Galarian Ponyta or rap. Now, one thing I, is that Obstagoon got a signature move. That blocking move, we don't know what it does properly yet. And Surfetch got its fighting type signature move, a, a fighting type Giga Impact. So I wonder if, I wonder if Galarian Rapidash would get one. I think it'd be nice, and I really hope it's it's a Pegasus. Though I don't know how possible that is. I don't know if you can cross over Unicorn to Pegasus. Someone pull up My Little Pony. Is there? God damn it! Oh frick! They do have wings. <laughs> All right, you can get a flying unicorn. Let's get it, Game Freak. All right, last thing. Galarian Ponyta's exclusive to Pokemon Shield. What the? F Galarian Ponyta's exclusive to Pokemon Shield, but. There's a trailer out. I just looked on my phone. There's a freaking trailer out. Let's watch the trailer. Sit in your covering it and you're gonna drop a trailer? Let's go. Let's see this trailer. Oh, frick. All right, let's make my face cam real small. This small. Is that good enough? Meet gallery points and Pokemon Shield. Oh, it's a small trailer. All right, it's perfect timing, Game Freak. Thanks. I was just making my update video. Yes! So glorious. Galarian Ponyta. Exclusive to shield. Hey. Beautiful trailer. <laughs> Thank you. That's perfect timing for me. Do you like it? What do you think Rapidash is going to look like? Galarian Rapidash and its typing. But what do you think is its counterpart for Pokemon Sword? Should I make a video? Should I make a video top five Pokemon that I think would get Galarian forms from Kanto? I did a whole one already. Should I do one for Kanto? Because they are still making Kanto forms. It seems like Kanto is their big highlight and then they just added a few Hoenn one. Maybe I'll make it. Let me know in the comments. I'll look through the list of Pokemon that are confirmed in Sword and Shield. And I'll take all of those out and I'll look for only Pokemon they've hidden from trailers to see what Pokemon might get Galarian forms in Kanto. Let me know. Slap like on this video. Let me know your thoughts and what Pokemon you think would get the counterpart to Galarian Ponyta here. Let's see. Sword and Shield is looking good, Game Freak. I'm so proud. The National Dex, yeah? You know, it's, it's funny because, like, I swear people made responses to my video where I broke down Sun and Moon and they're like, he's contradicting himself. I don't know, I never watched their videos, but I was like, I was like, are you stupid? Do you not get my point? That they're just blatantly revealing things like spoilers. Now they totally just fix themselves and it makes me so happy I made that video. Whoever responded to me, you take what you said back. Alright, see you guys next time. Peace. Bruh. Uh, guys. Something's wrong. Something is wrong, guys. <laughs> it's time because confirmed. I have to keep recording for this. It's a pure psychic type. Its abilities are runaway and pass the veil. It's psychic? It's not fairy? Come on. <laughs> wow. What a time to freaking record this video. It's a pure fairy. It's a pure psychic type. Can the Galarian Rapidash be psychic and fairy? That's a hell of a typing. That's a really good typing. This makes more sense for its ability. All right, Pastel Veil. A change brought about the life energy by the forest. It's been found in Galar since ancient times. It's said that when they're exposed to overflowing life energy, this is why their appearance became unique like this in the region. Behold, it's glistening mane. Galarian Ponyta can absorb the life energy of the surrounding atmosphere and store it in its mane. It seems that Ponyta's mane will become more colorful and even emit a sparkling glow if there's a lot of energy around. And then Pastel Veil makes all your Pokemon on your side immune to poison, and if a poison Pokemon switches out beside you on your side of the field, they get their poison healed. That's, that's really cool. I did not expect Psychic. I literally, now I guess you can use, okay, I'll use Crunch and it'll be super effective. A Psychic type Ponyta. This is really cool. All right guys, slap like, let me know what the sword exclusive is gonna be for this. I'll see you guys in the next video, peace. It's Psychic, guys.